Scenes of Crime's technicians, all three donning see-through hazmat suits, exited the lower flat of Ryan Swift's home on Central American Boulevard on Saturday morning. One of them carried with her a black plastic bag presumably containing evidence gathered from inside the residence. The well-known exterminator had been pronounced dead. His older brother, Stephen, lay comatose on the other side of Central American Boulevard, across from where the two had been drinking moments earlier. Reference the incident at the corner Central American Boulevard, the Mr. Swift residence. Police responded to that information on Saturday morning, and as a result, uh, upon their arrival, they observed Mr. Ryan Swift on board of the ambulance, being treated likewise at the other side of the boulevard. There was the other brother, Mr. Steve Swift, likewise in a state of unconsciousness. Uh, police assisted the board person by driving the ambulance to the hospital. Despite the rush to seek emergency medical attention, the younger sibling would not survive the ordeal. It is believed that both men may have ingested a deadly poison while they were hanging out together that morning. Ryan Swift was known to keep chemicals used for pest control on his premises. How it may have gotten into their cocktail is anyone's guess, but it's not being ruled out by investigators. Yes, it's a possibility as we found other pesticide materials around the area, and we know that they were early in the morning, they were dealing with some mixing of some chemicals prior to the incident happening. Acquaintances of the Swifts told News 5 off record that it wasn't unusual for the pair to gather downstairs for drinks in their leisure. The quickness with which the toxic substance reacted sent the brothers into bouts of convulsion. The symptoms of poisoning, according to police, also included difficulty breathing. Mr. Ryan Swift didn't make it alive at the hospital and was pronounced dead on arrival. Mr. Steven Sweet is still admitted in a critical condition at this moment. The information that we have gathered so far is that they were socializing at the lower flat of their um, house in the open area. But when the police checked, they found several containers containing suspected um, liquor that they were consuming. Also, uh, the house was checked inside the two floors, the lower and the upper, where police found a number of pesticides and other kind of um, poisonous materials inside of the house. So far, it is, um, we suspect it's a uh, death investigation that we are dealing with. We do not believe that any foul play is suspected at this moment. It is expected that specimens will be tested in order to provide a toxicology report during the autopsy. Yesterday, yesterday the, the investigating officer was able to retrieve blood from Mr. Stephen at the hospital. And for the postmortem, likewise, the doctor will be collecting samples so that they'll be sent to the lab for testing. So we can definitely say if it was what kind of poison or if any poison was used or they, or they consuming the poison no, that caused the death. But we have to wait until the postmortem results. Ryan Swift, despite being one of the go-to guys to get rid of vermin, was also an avid supporter of the United Democratic Party. The banner of his Pickstock era representative flies proudly in front of his home, long after Teddy Ellington had won the 2015 general elections. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Cayetano.